Tonight on the CBS Wednesday Night Movies. Andre is a street kid with a mother who's hooked on drugs. I can be anything I want. Jimmy B is a big shot, unable to give his love to anyone. There ain't no Santa Claus and Jimmy B don't do nothing for nobody. No two people could be more different. I gave up expecting anything real from you a long time ago. Or could need each other more. He's a new shoeshine boy I hired. Alex Kara stars in Jimmy B and Andre. Get your clothes and let's get out of here. A movie based on a true story. your brother Johnny. He's a crazy son of a bitch. Tell me something I don't know, Satch. Well, Satch is right. Johnny's jumping. Hold on, Sam. Hey, Tigander, put him up to my town. What's that, ladies? Stay here, your little business take care of. Needs help with the station. Hire somebody. I already got a job. Be a doll. I'll buy you lunch at the Rent Cent Hotel. Oh, tomorrow. sure. Have I ever lied to you? Have you ever told me the truth? 12 30 on the button. On the button. Don't say it, Roxanne. What? Did he suck at you again? I'd never say a thing like that. Looks like we're in for a marathon around here. Hey. We'll need you back here. Johnny's gonna dance all night. Where does this go? Seven. Come on, come on, come on. 
Come on, get out of here. And don't come back. Hit it. Great lunch, you know what I mean? I love it when you're mad. Attention, please. Members of the Winter Gardening Club are meeting in the main ballroom. Mr. Cohen, Mr. Harold Cohen, your tour is waiting. When are you and Steve going to tie the knot, Jimmy? I pretend I didn't hear that, Judge. Jimmy's married to his business. What do you want him to do, commit a bigamy? <laughs> She's a good girl. You're going to make an honest woman of her. Hey, hey, what is it with you two guys today? What, are you marriage counselors? Besides, I thought you'd like my mother. She'd croak if we got married. Why? Because Stevie's not Greek, she's divorced, she talks funny. How do I know? She hangs with me. The airport bus departs in 15 minutes. The airport bus departs in 15 minutes. Hey, Tom, what the books say about South Carolina, Kentucky? What's the spread? Jimmy, that's the judge. I didn't hear anything, Tommy. Especially if I get a couple of tickets to the playoffs. Said is. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, Kentucky by nine. Okay, Tom. Make me look beautiful. <laughs> With the miracles, I'm not so good. Mr. John Cromwell Dutton, your party is waiting at reception. Mr. John Cromwell Dutton, please. You alone, honey? Buzz off. Truck, Tom. Eh, so what? Serfina, she don't know that. You know, if you do this for Stevie once in a while, she gonna follow you any place you go. Hey, I'm not going any place. Keep your shirt on. You've been working like a Turk ever since your wife died. What do you want to be, the richest of Greek in the graveyard? Beat it, kid. We don't need any. Wait a minute, kid. How much you charge? Six bits, Mr. Butts cares. But for you, it's all in the house. You know me. Everybody knows Jimmy B. The man who owns the Glendale where all the jocks and high rollers hang out. What'd I tell you, Tom? I'm a celebrity. <laughs> you threw me out of there the other night. Oh, that's where I saw you, huh? So that entitles me to a free shine, huh? What's your angle? I just wanted you to know who I am. So who are you? 
My name's Andre Reynolds, and I ain't nothing now. But someday, I'm gonna be just like you. What do you want? I want to shine shoes in your place. <laughs> Get this one away, will you? So what makes you think I should give you a job? So I can make us both some money. You ain't got nothing against money, is you? Mm -mm. As the best thing is, I can do a number on your shoes till your toes start humming. You don't blind people when you walk down the street. What I tell you, Mr. Butzkeris, I ain't no jive. Well, you did a class job, kid. <clears throat> you're still too young to work in a bar. You come back and see me when you're a little older, you hear? Here. I told you it's on the come house. Here. I don't want no charity. You be a sucker. It ain't me what's a sucker. Sucker's a guy who pays $5 for a six-bit shine. Get out of here. Can you believe that? Kid comes in here smelling like a goat and he turns his nose up to a fen. You can't even give money away no more. Oh, hi, baby. Don't you start babying me! What the heck's with you? I want my little car back, and if there's so much as one little scratch on it, so I'm going to kill somebody. It? I'm done up in my best dress last night having a good time, and then all of a sudden, I'm not a guest anymore. Be a dog, you said. Roxanne needs help. Lunch at the Rensen tomorrow, baby. 12.30 on the button. So I'm waiting there. I'm waiting there in the middle of all those guys with the funny hats and the name tags and you don't show. But I'm used to being stood up by you, even on my day off. But I want my little car back. So who's got it? They, they towed it away while I was waiting for you. Tony, get me convinced. Get the ball being precinct. That car with my own money. You'll I'm saved you. every nickel and dime to get it. All right, you'll get your car. Well, don't do me any favors. You want your car, don't you? Huh? Yes. Hi, right, Stanley. Jimmy B. Yeah, listen, one of your eager beavers went and towed Stevie's car away today. Yeah, I appreciate it. Why don't you come on down? I'll buy you a drink. Yes, yeah, Stanley, I still have Polish vodka. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Oh, you really think you're the greatest thing since sliced bread, don't you? I mean, Jimmy B says, jump and the whole world wants to know how high. See ya. Look, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you're still mad about lunch, I can explain. I'm sure you can. I was doing something for you. You're so thoughtful. You want to see what I got you, don't you? I'm dying to see it. What could it be? Could it be a fur coat? No, it couldn't be a fur coat because hell hadn't frozen over yet. Tony, you still got that box I told you to wrap? What box? You know, the one we got from the gimp. Oh, that was... It's uh, the box, the I, box. I don't think she's gonna like. What do you think? I don't suppose it could be hot. Hey, if you don't want it, I'll find someone else to give it to. Hey, I know somebody. I said I was mad. I didn't say I was crazy. Yeah. I like that. Well, I'll say one thing. I'll say one thing. When it comes to apologies, you sure aren't a piker. Just apologize. I got a great day planned for us today. Yeah? Where are we going? The ball game. The ball game? I'm starving to death. Well, what's better than cold hot dogs and warm beer, my Anything. Yeah. That looks gorgeous. Put it on you. That's beautiful, my baby. So don't forget to wear that to Mama's next week, huh? You look beautiful. I told you already. I'm not going to your mother's. You no, me. I'm not going to your mother's. I know what you told me. It's not exactly a swell lunch at the Rensen, you know what I mean? It's a ball, baby! Listen, your mother has made it perfectly clear that I am not welcome at family affairs. Yeah, well, And I don't go where I'm not wanted. Yeah, well, I go, you go. Yeah, not if your mother has anything to say about it. Now, look, if Mama likes you all right, she just doesn't know you. After seven years? Look, she's an old woman. Just gotta bend a little bit and she'll be okay. I bend like a pretzel. She still hates me. Hit the ball! You know you're too sensitive? You want a hot dog or something? Sure. I wonder how the guy who invented baseball stayed awake long enough to do it. Jimmy. 
Jimmy B, how are you? Hey, Sergeant Tassos. What are you doing here? I come here out, out protecting the citizens from unlicensed vendors. Jimmy, we gotta talk. I got a lot of trouble. What's up? Well, I'll tell you the truth. I, uh, I get a nose in my head on a couple of bets, you know. What's new? It don't amount to that much. How much? Six grand. Six thousand dollars? When the hell are you gonna wise up? You can't even pay the interest on that kind of bread. I'm trying to get straight with them, Jimmy, but they won't let me. Yeah, well, I don't pay nobody's debts, my friend. It's bad business. Well, who's asking you to? Look, all I want you to do, Jimmy, is call somebody. You know, buy me a little time. They'll get their bread. What the hell are you talking about, call somebody? I don't hang with those kind of people. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, you and me, we go back as kids. What do you want me to do, beg you? You want me to beg you, I'll beg you. Will you cool it? Otherwise, I'm dead meat. Who's looking for you? You ever hear of a guy named Bruno Santori? Yeah, it's a headbuster. Moonlight's his enforcer. Yeah, well, he's a kneecap specialist, and he's about to bust both of mine unless you help me out. All right, I'll make a couple of calls, but I ain't promising nothing. I knew you wouldn't let me down, my friend. Will you quit it? You're embarrassing me. Just figure you owe me one. Jimmy, give me a hot No. about that, no, aren't we? Ripped them off for his shoe shine money. Now, who'd do a thing like that? Kids, what do you think? You give them something to eat? Oh, sure thing. Come on, young man, let's see what we can do. What's your name, anyway? Andre Reynolds. Okay, Andre Reynolds. Honey, I gotta go. I'm late for work. Why don't you stick around for a while? I can. I gotta be at the ticket counter in 20 minutes. Will I see you later? I'll be here. Yep, you're always here. I ought to find myself a nice married man to fool around with. It'd be a lot easier. Hey, Roxanne. Where's my brother, anyway? Downstairs. Where else? It's after four. Hey, what do we want in here? A saloon or a hayseed convention? 
Mike's up there alone. There must be a hundred customers in the joint. So where's Roxanne? She's doing something for me. And that's your problem, ain't it? Come four o'clock and you're on your own. That's the deal, little brother. Hey, what's the big idea? I want you to hear something, John. Hear what? Listen to what? Listen to what? You mean the bottles? What are they? Those aren't just bottles, John. With a heartbeat. The pulse of a thriving business. It's gonna go down the drain unless you quit screwing around the basement. What's this supposed to be? What's it look like? A giant dog. Congratulations, little brother. You know, you're really strange. Listen, if I could take pictures of you and your hotshot friends up there, I could sure as hell take pictures of dogs. Personally, I don't see a hell of a lot of difference. Not beat it. I'm busy. Go on, go on. Um, just put scares. No thanks necessary. I know that. If I was working here like I asked you, ain't none of this would happen in the first place. You know, you really got a lot of hoods for. Everybody on the street says you some kind of big shot godfather or something like that. But I don't believe that. Because you won't even up a little kid make an honest living. I think you're a child. How old are you? Ten. Remember I told you about the law? It just so happens that little kids can't work in bars. What else can I tell you? And as far as what you hear on the street, don't believe everything you hear on the street. I ain't running no charity bazaar around here. You got that? There ain't no Santa Claus, and Jimmy B don't do nothing for nobody. Now go on, get out of here. Scram. Hit it. Frankie? Jimmy B. Put your cares. Yeah, it's been a long time. How you been keeping yourself? Good, good. Listen, I'm looking for a favor. I ran into my friend Tassos today, and he tells me that Bruno's looking for him. Now I don't know what the beef's about. <laughs> Once you start giving a chick flowers, she spoiled for good. It takes me too long to trade my ladies. You always hustling, ain't you? Ain't nothing wrong with it. But let me tell you something. If you ever want to make some real bread, you 86 that flowers and Shinola routine. You come and see old Curtis. I can use a sharp kid like you. Give it some thought. I'll catch you on the flip side. Today, the high.
highest recorded temperature for an April 28th in Detroit since 1882. The hot spell is expected to continue through the weekend, gradually I'm leveling off home, to normal by it's the about middle time. of next week. I tell you not to come in that window. Why don't you use the stairs like everybody else? There's rats on the stairs, Mom. You don't ever bother nobody. Come over here and give him a dear hug. How you feeling, Mom? Getting any better? Oh, no, Andre. I hurt so bad today. I'm telling you, if this gout don't give me a break, I'm going to go out of my mind. I got these for you. That's nice. Put them on the table. Come tell me what you've been doing. I made a few dollars downtown, but then I got robbed. You got robbed? What do you mean you got robbed? I told you he wouldn't have nothing. Went to the ball game and spent. Are you lying to me? You better not be lying to me. I ain't lying, Mom. Feel this. That still don't put no supper on the table. Sure don't get me no medicine. What are we supposed to do now? They couldn't get it all, though. Kept five dollars here. Why, are you something else. You sure are something else. I don't know what I'd do without you. Kim, go on down to the corner. See if you get some soup bone or something. And don't you mess with no boys on the way. I wish you were a psychiatrist, Judge. You're a genius. Wait a minute, wait a so minute. So what do you hear from Angela these days? Why should I hear from Angela? She ain't run out of money yet. Well, that's what daughters are for. We do all the work. They take all the vacations. Yeah, well, Mama got a postcard from her from Athens. Apparently, she's going to do us all a favor and come back in time for Johnny's birthday party. Hey, you're being a little rough on that kid, aren't you? She's got no use for me. I got no use for her. One of these days, you just might. Thank you, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, thanks. Don't burn your bridges, my friend. The bridges were burned today. Your mother died as if it was my fault or something, you know? Helen had a good life with me. She had no life with me at all. The last two years, she hardly saw me. Yeah. Well, she never complained, not once to me. You know something? That was 10 years ago. You know what it is now? It's boring. You can't blame yourself for trying to be a success. Success? What does that mean, Tommy? Sometimes I feel like dumping it all and going back to Greece. What do you think anything's going to mean in Greece? I don't know. Peace of mind, maybe? Before you hop a plane, you owe me $4.50 for the game. on your mind, Bruno. The point spread saved your butt. Since when have you become a bag man? Oh, I, I still like to knock a few heads here and there. You know. But uh, a couple of our boys been getting leaned on lately, so I'm making some drops. They figure nobody try nothing with me. I can get a hold of you? Yeah. Yeah, your boy Tassos is off the hook. That's too bad, because I was kind of looking forward to doing a little tap dance on his face. But how often you get to lean on a cop? Well, he ain't exactly my boy. Well, who's ever punk he is? He's smelling like a rose. Well, tell Frankie thanks for me, will you? Okay. 
but Frankie also told me to tell you that if Tasso screws up again, it's gonna be on you. So you better keep him in line, or you're both gonna find a surprise under your car some night. Capiche? You're a very sick man, you know that, don't you, Bruno? Here. There's a couple tickets to the basketball playoffs. Don't say I never gave you nothing. Get the door on the way out, will you? Oh, uh, God bless you, Johnny. Thank, Thank you me. very much. That's you know, I figured right this right. would uh, look good in your square dance Put party. This Ooh, you think your papa will like this? When has he not liked one of your cakes, yeah, yeah, or anything else? Both my boys could eat. since you've been home? My plane only got in this morning. That's not what I asked you. I, uh, I gave up trying to talk to him a long time ago. He never had any time for me, and I don't have anything to say to him now. Don't be hard on your papa, Angela. In his way, he is a good man. He couldn't prove it by me, Yaya. Listen to me. All his life, your father has worked himself to the bone just so you could have everything nice. But money doesn't necessarily make things nice. It doesn't hurt. Well, of course it doesn't hurt, Yaya. Listen, right now, he's very comfortable with his life. Yeah. He's just a little boy who likes to play the big shot godfather with the gun and the bar, the bookies, the whole big macho deal. So let him play. But it's not part of my life. Angela, have you heard the good news? Blabbermouth. <laughs> I have been praying for a boy. There is something special about Greek boys. Oh, Maria, that's wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Just what this crazy family needs. More boys? More boys. <laughs> you know, that's the trouble with your papa. He should find himself a nice Greek woman and settle down. I don't think that woman he is keeping company with is a good influence for him. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Well, I still don't think this is such a hot idea. Come on. Don't give me a rough time, Plato. You're going back to the pond. Come on. You never should have come here. Will you come on? Why don't you just try to relax and have a good time for a change? All right, but if there's much as one crack... Pull in your horns, no one's going to say nothing. They better not. Hey guys, Mama. Jimmy. How you doing, baby? Huh? Kala, Kala. You remember Stevie, huh? Of course I do. How could I forget? 
Hi, Papa. Hi, Angela. How you doing? Good. How was the trip? Just fine, Papa. Good. Hey, Uncle Jimmy, what's with the mud? I almost forgot. Where's Johnny? Hi. Hello, Jimmy. Happy birthday. <laughs> what's this? Play though, I call him original, huh? Yeah, but uh, I don't understand. Well, it's it's our birthday present to you. I couldn't figure out anything else to get you since you got everything. That's uh, that's pretty nice of you, Jimmy. But uh, what in the world am I supposed to do with the sheep, though? Well, I just thought you two had a lot in common. We could hang around together. You know what I mean? Listen to the classics. Go to all the good dog shows. Yeah. Black one, Selena. Eh? Please, oh, my please, Hello. Johnny, not here. Take the dog to the bank. All right, Mitera. Out! All right, Mitera. We'll go out and have a good ambiente together. Come on. So, um, how was your trip to Europe, Angela? I bet you got some fabulous snapshots. The trip was great, and I did get some good shots. Yeah? Well, I'd love to see them sometime. <laughs> Probably wouldn't interest you. Mostly churches, museums, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. We should, um, you know, get together and have lunch next week, you know, because we should oh, try Oh, now to... that I'm back, I'll have to find a job. I won't have too much time for socializing. Excuse me, I have to help Yaya. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> well, I see your lady ain't missing any meals, huh? This creek's got to lay off the domadis. Jimmy, I talk to you for a second. Yeah, so tall. I don't mean to be critical, Jimmy, but uh, I think you made a mistake bringing her here, huh? Oh, yeah? Look, you know how Mama feels about her. Well, the last time I looked, John, I was living here, too. Jimmy. She's not good enough to be at your shindig. Is that what you're saying? I didn't say that. No, but that's what you're saying, isn't it, John? Come on. That isn't the point. What is the point, John? The point is, you know how Mama feels about her. Why do you always have to go out of your way to do things? You know we're going to upset her. Well, if it isn't goody too, shit. Anyone ever stop to consider how I might feel about her? <laughs> of course. Well, now, do you know how I feel about it, John? With you, it's hard to tell. No, tell me. You know how I feel about it, John? You tell me. All right. How do you feel about her? This is how I feel about it, John. Jimmy! Jimmy! Get your hat. We're in the wind. One of these days, I'm gonna really knock his head off. Leave it to John to screw up everybody's good time. Some people are like that. Yeah. Well, the heck with him. Where would you like to go, baby? Home. What's with you? Nothing in the paper about a tornado going through Detroit. Maybe you should get a bigger place, that way you wouldn't notice the mess so much. What? What am I doing? I mean, I must be nuts. You don't even live here. I spend half my time cleaning up your mess. Here. And this. And these beauties. Take them home to your mother and let her do your washing and ironing for a change. I'm sure she'd be delighted. 
Well, just because you're mad at my mother. It is not your mother, it's you. I am sick and tired of being laughed at behind my back every time we go over there. I, I begged you not to take me there today, but oh no, you just had to do it. I mean, you don't give a damn how I feel. You know they don't want me, and that, that, that they don't know how to treat me because you won't tell them where I belong. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, don't you baby me. I've had it up to here with you and the whole mob. Well, I mean, I'm just going to start taking care of Stevie for a change, you know, and... And you can drop dead, and that goes double for your stupid family. <laughs> You're right. You're right. My family treats you rotten. So do you. I should have never took you there, baby. Yeah, I don't ask for that much. I'm never going to let them do that to you again. You promise? Yeah. Let me see if we hit the sack. It's five o'clock. Now, what was this fight all about, Andre? What was it this time? Well, it must have been about something. Why is it that with more than 800 boys and girls in this school, you're the one I seem to find in my office on a weekly basis? Now, can you explain that to me? Young man, at the rate you're going, you are not going to be promoted into the sixth grade with the rest of your friends. I don't see how we can possibly pass you. You are failing in every single subject. Now, Andre, I know you're a bright boy. And I'm just trying to find a way to help you. Now, there is no excuse for the marks you've been getting or for your behavior. So what is the problem? Believe me, I'm just trying to help. Maybe we better have a talk with your mother. That won't do no good. Well, I just can't allow this kind of thing to go on in my school. So I'm going to send you home with a note till you both come back and we have a talk. I'm sorry, but you don't leave me any other choice. Okay, now listen, I know you don't want to hear this, but I'm going to say it anyway. You ain't in no condition to be taking care of them kids. If I ain't, who is? You? Just get out of my face, girl. Well, who's better to take care of? I'm their natural auntie, ain't I? And I love them. Lord knows you ain't doing them no good. Maybe I ain't got nothing and I can't give them nothing. But I sure know how you get everything you got. And you know something? I'd rather be nothing than be what you are. You know what you are. I know what I am. And I also know what you are. You just want my kids so you can get a hold of the welfare. You might be my only sister, honey, but you sure are trash. Get out of my house. All right, I'll all right. throw some water on you if you don't leave. My baby's away. I don't want to take my children away. The school out already. Where's your brother and your sister? Uh, I got up early today, Mom. How you feeling? Andre, I don't know. My condition don't seem to be getting any better. Oh. I... Let me get you a doctor. There ain't no money, honey. At least not for no doctor. I'll take care of you. You'll see. I know you will, honey. I know you will. You're the best doctor in the world for you, my dear. You're just like your daddy, you know that? Did my daddy ever stay with me? Just for a minute. 
then the good Lord seemed fit to take him. He was so young, too. And pretty, just like you're going to be when you grow up. Smart. He was so smart, he could have been anything. He could have been a great man. I'm going to be a great man someday, Mom. And not just shiny shoes, neither. I can be anything I want. I believe you will. I believe you will. Right now, you're just a little boy. Not that little. And that's what I want you to be. You don't grow up and leave your my dear too fast as it is. No, I ain't. Honey, why don't you go on out and play with your friends? I gotta finish cleaning up this house. Go on. Go on. Huh, John? What seems to be the problem? This little jungle fun. This kid decided he was going to set up his junk outside of the bar and try to hustle our customers. And all the time he should have been inside. He's a new shoe shine boy I hired. What? If you don't like it, he can work my side of the bar. You know something? You really are insane. You really mean it about letting me work in your bar? Tell me something. Why ain't you in school right now? I... And don't lie to me, because I'm going to check up on you. I don't want no liars working for me. I got kicked out. For what? Bye. You better get yourself kicked back in again. I'm going to have enough trouble with the liquor commission. I don't want no truant officers breathing down my neck. And one more thing. Consider this a loan. Get yourself some decent brushes and rags and report back to work at 4 o'clock sharp. All right! And remember one thing. You're on a week's probation. Screw up one time and you're out on your ear. You got that? Yes, sir, boss. Good. Now beat it. You bite yourself a can of worms, little brother. This little jungle bunny's no different than the rest. 
they lie, they cheat, they pilfer, they steal, they, they cause you nothing but grief. So just don't, so just don't come blubbering to me when you find out that I'm right. Just to me, you don't have a blubbering around here. Hi, Roxanne. What's the matter? The doc is getting uppity down on the plantation, Master John. And I want to tell you one more thing. I run the day shift, and what I say goes. So you just better not crowd me, eh? After 4 o'clock, you can do whatever the hell you want. But until then, I don't want to see no night shift people showing up until I'm gone. And if you got any beef with that, you can take it up with my lawyer. Huh? I didn't even know he had a lawyer. He don't. So what was that all about? Sorry, boss. Took me a while to get all this stuff together. You didn't. He won't last the night. Just lost the Cold War. No, you kidding. It's good for business. If you don't mind my asking, just what is your interest in Andre? Well, that's the $64,000 question. I beg your pardon? Uh, Andre does some part-time work for me, and uh, the deal was he said he'd get himself back into school, and he said he'd do it, and he hasn't. Well, it's probably not all Andre's fault. I get the impression from the welfare report that his mother has some problems. Yeah, well, what the hell to tell you that? I'm sorry, Mr. Bitsakara. Sometimes I'm a little hard of hearing. I said, uh, ain't there stiff laws in the state about little kids going to school? <laughs> well, sure there are. But what can we do? I mean, we're not policemen. And anyhow, it wouldn't make any difference. Andre is failing in every single subject. And I don't understand, because he's a bright boy. Well, what if he could get some help uh, over the summer? <sighs> I suppose we could give him some makeup tests, and if he scored well, he could pass. Well, thank you for your time. It's been a while since I've been in the principal's office. I'm sure it has. By the way, what kind of business are you in, if I may ask? I own a saloon, and Andre's my entertainment. <laughs> Andre, get your butt over here. For now on, you're going to hit the books two hours a day with Roxanne. What that is, if you both still want to keep working in this joint. And at the end of the summer, you're going to take a makeup test to see if you can pass into the sixth grade. And you better pass, because I don't want no dummies working for me. When I was your age, I could speak two different languages. You can't even talk English. And here, get him some clothes. You know what this is? Soap. And a toothbrush. You know about a toothbrush? Brushy, brushy, brushy. And give him a bath. He's starting to stink out the customers. What do you want to do, go around smelling like a goat the rest of your life, huh? Why is it that I had the feeling that you'd know more about this stuff than I do? I didn't know nothing about none of that. Kim, 
Did you go on down to the mailbox like I asked you? Ain't nothing in the house again. There wasn't no check, Mom. I already told you. Oh. Welfare just get later and later all the time. I guess they don't care who goes hungry. Well, if it ain't Mr. Fancy Pants, where'd you get the new thread? Jimmy B got them for me. He's trying to make a hunky out of you if you ask me. I ain't asking you. Shh. Don't sass your sister. Turn around and let me see you. Ooh, pretty, pretty. My, my. You're going to be a regular uptown dude. I brought some supper, too. Well, uh, maybe Kim will make some something for you to eat. I feel real poorly. I don't know why I always get stuck with KP around here. Honey, did you manage to bring home any money? Twenty-three dollars, Mama. You know what you are? You are a sweet child. I don't think anybody around here could manage without you. You better go on back to work. Detroit, you know what I mean? Come on, do something. mentioned the Lindell all day. That must be some kind of record. I guess you're right. <laughs> Thanks for a nice day. That's it. Thanks for a nice day, huh? Oh, come on. What do you want? You don't want what I want to get married. Are you going to start that again now? Uh-uh. I know when I'm licked. Every time that I convince myself that it's over and that I don't want to see you again, you turn around and do something like today and I fall in love with you all over again. That's because you're a pushover. Yeah, round heels. Well, you gotta wise up, baby. Yeah, I gotta wise up, but I probably never will. Well, I hope not. Simmons was 
always con consist? Consist of at least two parts, a subject and a... Predicate. Does Pops know all this stuff? <laughs> I'm sure he does. Sure could have fooled me. <laughs> so, how's it going? You eggheads doing any good? We were doing quite well. Don't get cute. Hey, Pops, you know what a sentence consists of? Yeah, marriage. If that ain't a sentence, nothing is. Oh, that ain't what I mean. I got one for you. You bet two bucks across the board on a horse and it wins, right? Right. And it pays 880, 520, and 340. How much is it all together? That's a tough one. I gotta use a pencil and paper for that. Here you are. It's a great way to teach arithmetic. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The next race is about to start. $17.40. Wrong. How about the six bucks? Oh. $11.40. You got it, kid. You ready? Burst your teeth, I see, too, huh? Things are picking up around here. Okay, time's up, Andre. Time's up. Thank you, Andre. <laughs> okay, uh, could you guys, could everyone hold it down for a minute, please? Can I have your attention? Bubba. I got a little announcement to make. Andre, come here. Because Andre got himself uh, back into school and passed into the sixth grade, uh, and because he's also brushing his teeth regular, uh, the gang chipped in and bought him something so you can get to work on time for a change. Bubba? to him. I think he's just hungry. Why don't you give him something to eat? Like what? 
I don't know. There's got to be something. Boy, I can't hardly believe how dumb you are. What you mean? All that money you've been bringing home, well, it goes right into Mama's arm. Then if there's anything left over, me and Derek get something to eat. And lately, there ain't been much left over. What about the food stamps? She sells them for a quarter apiece. But that shouldn't bother you none. I'm sure they feed you real good down at that hunky bar. I'm leaving now, Jimmy B. Be sure to lock up. sneaking back and boosting me out of the icebox. Huh? You hungry, you ask me for something to eat, but don't go ripping me off. What do you do with your dough anyhow? You've been working four months and already you're making more money than I am. What the hell's your story? Never mind that, kid. Talk to me, kid. I've been busting my hump for you. The least you can do is say something. Nothing to say. Well, I told you when you first started. I don't want no liars working for me. That goes double for thieves. Until you decide to tell the truth about what's going on, I ain't having nothing more to do with you. Go on, beat it. Beat it! Mm.
So what are we going to do with this? Put it over there with the rest of his junk. It's all going out in the garbage tomorrow. This is the stupidest thing I ever heard. You and Andre both ought to be spanked. One solid week, that little creep don't show. You told him not to come back. What do you expect? I expect him to come in here like a man and tell me the truth. That's what I expect. You wouldn't know the truth if it spat in your eye. Which it has. Hey, hey, wait a minute. I was the guy that was trying to help that kid, remember? Then why don't you try and help him now? Good old Whitey to the rescue. Uh, that's it. For now on, I'm not going to help nobody. Pops is taking a vacation. That's the oldest story in the world. Show the pickaninny a little taste of how the white folks live, and you got your very own step and fetch it. Hey, wait a minute. What do you two barracudas want from me? Did you ever ask him why he was stealing? Yeah! I caught him red-handed. Nobody steals from Jimmy B. Oh, that's the old street law, so the hell with him? Yeah, the hell with him. He's a ten-year-old boy. He's not Bruno. I liked you better as a bigot. Where are you going? As far away from you and as far as I can get. Then what did I do to you? <sighs> Nothing. You did the same as you've done ever since I've known you. Not the thing. You'd never lay it on the line. Now, I, I ain't talking about myself. I gave up expecting anything real from you a long time ago. But as far as that boy is concerned, there was a deal. You know? And as far as I'm concerned, you're a coward. You promise, but you don't deliver. You say who you say he was again? You from the police? I know, I know. You that guy who owns a bar or something? Andre sure don't want to see you. He was doing real good down at the bar. I just want to talk to him, okay? I want to know why he ain't been coming around no more. He seemed to be happy. What you know about Andre? You don't know nothing about Andre. Starting to smell like a goat again, kid. Get your clothes and let's get out of here. See what I mean? You can't tell me nothing about this child. What you mean coming in here trying to take my baby? You want to go with this honky? Nothing about my baby. Hey, 
Hey, my man. Show me the bread. And don't hold nothing back. Oh, no. Wait, wait. It ain't nothing. Just, just a little family spat, that's all. Come on, open up in there, girl. Yeah. Jimmy, there's somebody here to see you. What the hell? Oh, Jesus. Roxanne, get Tassos on the phone. I'm calling in my marker. Jeez. like to know that I run into Andre. And I didn't much care for the way he looked. I mean, he must have had a terrible accident. Told me he got into a fight. Fight, yeah. But just so he don't go getting into any more fights, he's going to be staying down at the Lindell for a while, where I can keep my eye on him. You can't take my baby. No, otherwise, lady. I'm just going to have to file a battered child complaint. Now, if that happens, I can guarantee you you're going to be doing some time. Well, and I mean hard time. You get my point? So from now on, you better plan on supporting your own habit. Andre's out of commission. You know what I mean? Till I figure out what we're gonna do with you. And if you need something, you come see me. If I ain't around, you go to Roxanne. That way I don't have to rely on a crystal ball to figure out what's going on around here. And one more thing. For now on, you're gonna get ten bucks a week allowance. The rest goes into a savings account. Hey, steal your money. The only thing is you won't be able to get it out without me. What's wrong with that? He's afraid his brother and sister won't get enough to eat if he doesn't take money home. Is that your problem? Okay. You can take food home, but no money. Roxanne will take you up there once a week with groceries. But I don't want you spending one second in that apartment alone. Got that? Yes, Bob. Give me a hamburger. Yeah. Oh. I couldn't sleep till noon. What is it? It's a baby, you goose. Oh, I know it's a baby, but what is it? A boy or what? Can't you tell? Looks just like his grandpa. Oh, forbid. <laughs> you see, he heard that, huh? Good girl. Now you got a beautiful baby, Maria. Give it some rest now, because you'll need it. Good work, my friends. Thanks, man. Congratulations, Grandpa. You beat me to it. Jimmy, I want to talk to you and Johnny. Costas, you stay here with your baby son. Come. Come, both of you. With the new baby, God is bringing good luck to this house. This is no time to be fighting. Our family has been blessed today, and you must try to get along. Otherwise, it will be bad luck. And I don't want that in this house. 
Now, what do you think, big brother? You want to give it a try? Listen, Jimmy. I won't be using the dark room for a while. I was thinking. You might want to fix it up for Andre. Or something. Now for the baptism. Just put Sikari's family. And Jimmy, I think it would be best if you don't bring Stiffy to the church. I don't think it'd be best, Mama. But you wouldn't come anyway. today, brothers and sisters, to talk to you about life, yes. eternal life, yes. life everlasting, yes. the real life. Yes, sir. Yes. Our Lord Jesus Christ promised us that whosoever believeth in me and is baptized in my name will live forever in the glories of the kingdom of God. No, I did not come here today to lament the passing of a beloved sister from this earthly life. I came here today to celebrate the passing of a beloved sister into the glories of eternal life. Into the bosom of Christ Jesus, our Lord. Do you join Christ? I do join Christ. Have you joined Christ? I do join Christ. And do you believe in him? I believe in Christ as Lord and God. Βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των
Κύριος Αγίου, αμήν, αμήν, αμήν. Σφραγής δωρεάς Πνεύματος Αγίου, αμήν, αμήν, αμήν. Σφραγής δωρεάς Πνεύματος Αγίου, αμήν, αμήν, αμήν. Σφραγής δωρεάς Πνεύματος Αγίου, αμήν, αμήν, αμήν. Κύριε Τε Ιδούλη του Θεού, Καλλιόπη, Σταυρούλα, εις το όνομα του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος. Αμήν. Μαδία was my only sister and uh, well I guess I owe her something. So I think I just better be taking Andre on home with me. I mean, family really ought to be with family. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think I do. But not that you don't take good care of him. Because I know you're real fond of him. And Andre likes you too. He told me that. He also told me that. And he told me that uh, he'd like to stay here. That he didn't want to live with you. Well, he's just a baby. Now, what does he know about what he wants? Of course, uh, like I told you on the phone, <clears throat> if you really want to keep him, we can probably make some kind of arrangement or something. You know what I mean? No, not exactly. What kind of arrangements would you suggest? Oh, say, um, $100 a week. dollars a week? Well, I really ought to check with my business advisor first. Do you mind? Oh, no, no, no. You go right ahead. He's right outside. Tassos! Did you get any of that? The whole routine. I figure it ought to be good for about 20 years. Hey, officer, I'm clean. I swear I ain't done nothing. Now, I was just trying to figure out how much Mr. Butzikaris here really cared about Andre. Now, I ain't really interested in no money for Andre or nothing like that. You're going to find out how much Mr. Butzikaris cares about Andre if you ever show up around here again. Hey, you got two minutes before I go on duty. You know something? That broad is actually worse than a sister. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Well, anyhow, that's the end of her. Is it? Ain't it? Not as long as she's got her hooks on those two other kids. Oh, come on, Jimmy. You're not going to go off on some crusade now, are you? No, but I ain't been in a good street fight in a long time. Mr. Butcher Karras. Glad you could make it. Reverend Cunningham, this is James Butcher Karras. Pleasure, sir. Miss Hubbard, you already know. Sit down, please. All right. You're seeking legal custody of all three children, is that correct? That's right. Mm hmm. May I ask you, how do you plan to support them? Our jobs. Our jobs. I suppose you know that you'll get three welfare checks every month if I should sign these custody papers. I guess. Well, I really don't have any choice in the matter. So I'm going to grant you custody. But I'd like you to know that we're going to keep our eye on you. Make sure the children get all that money. I know all about you, Miss Hubbard. So if you're smart, you'll make damn sure you never appear before me in court. I don't believe you, Judge. You brought me over here for this? Hey, don't worry. I won't let anything happen to them. I deal with this most of my life. Thank you, Reverend. Good luck on the next election. Thanks, and Merry Christmas, Tom. What the hell, Tom? How can you ever keep those kids? Jimmy, I know how you feel. But there's not a damn thing I can do about it. That's the law. Yeah, well, the law stinks. The law stinks. Look, the court can't go around taking people's kids away from them just because we don't happen to approve of their environment. Hell, I'd have to collect half the kids in this city. The kid ain't got a prayer. 
Jimmy, there has to be proof of criminal negligence or abuse before the court can even get involved. So there's nothing you can do for him, right? There's nothing anybody can do for them. The woman hasn't been convicted of a crime. That woman is a crime. Maybe so, but legally. Legally, we're behind the eight ball here. You want that kid, take him. As long as she gets her welfare checks, I don't think she cares where he lives. It's up to you. Hey, Jimmy. Merry Christmas. your hat. Hell just froze over, baby. Oh, Jimmy! Oh! Oh! I can't believe it! Oh, whoa! Here, hold it. Oh! Hey, easy with that. Oh. Everybody. Merry Christmas. Hey, what are you doing here? What's wrong with the room Yaya made up for you? Huh? All right, get your butt in here. But if you have to go. Find a John. Get up here. Okay? Good night, Pops.
one day, join the Peanuts gang for tremendous fun in its Arbor Day, Charlie Brown. Charlie's baseball field may be the victim of a tree-growing campaign by his over-eager pals. It's a memorable special. It's hilarious. It's Arbor Day, Charlie Brown, Monday night at 8, 7 Central. And tomorrow night, CBS presents Alex Haley and Norman Lear's new series, Palmerstown, USA, followed by drama on Knott's Landing. Thank you.